what you do do is I'm going to show you how to make this very cool car spawner today. And you can spawn whatever car you want. Um, see? Very cool. Uh, let's get into it. So first you go go into view and you're gonna click explorer and properties. So now these are open. Now that you've done that, go into home, yes, and click toolbox. Now that you got this, you're gonna go into the pinned comment and you're gonna get the the model, this one. Best car spawner GUI. You're gonna get this. And we're gonna put this into our game. Now you can have this bit. You're not gonna need this read menu bit, so you can just get rid of that if you really want to, or you can read it if you really do want to. And now you can put vehicles into server storage, and you're gonna put car GUI into starter GUI. There we go. Now these two buttons are gonna pop up on your screen. Leave those there. You can move them around if you want, but do not delete them because you need them. And now let's get a car. So it can be anything. Um, um now we're just gonna get a very cool uh, sporty car. Um let's get this. Now we're gonna import it. There we go. Now we're gonna have that. And now you're gonna put this into vehicles. And that's a big name. I'm just gonna call this um super super um super dude. There we go. That's gonna be my car name. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Now, Control C. And now you're gonna go into the car GUI and you're gonna click Spawn GUI Server. Go on that script, and you're gonna change these three bits: vehicle name, vehicle name, and vehicle name. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Now that we've got that, now. Um, you're gonna be able to spawn your car but um if you want more cars then you're just gonna import them put them into vehicles and control d and then of course as i said change the these three bits that are highlighted at the moment for the name and now before we can get any of this to work it's you're not gonna be able to have like r15 characters if you don't know what to do go into um game settings you'll probably have to save the game and like publish it before you can do this but you're going to go into avatar and now that you're in avatar you'll go click r6 i already have it done but you go click r6 it's normally on this then you change it to r6 and then save now it's ready to go now you can click click play and you can test it out. Now you got these three these two buttons, spawn vehicle, and it's gonna show up this. You can click this to go like backwards and forwards, as many cars as you want. Uh, I only have one car, so it's only gonna have one car. And you've got the name of the car and then spawn. It's gonna spawn in the car. There we go. So now in the workspace, this is gonna be your car, my username and then car. Cause this is your car, you know, which is very cool. A nice drifty. Oh, I'm just so good. And then, if you want to delete the car, oh, um, yeah, you just click delete and then it's gone. There you go. So it's not in the workspace anymore. Uh, that's it. Um, I hope you liked it. Make sure to um. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any issues with the script, and I'll help you out. Uh, anyway, see you more.